All right, so this is a cucumber review on the Chinese yellow cucumber. Um, I picked these kind of early because I wanted to be able to uh, eat them and I didn't want to wait until they fully scale up. But these, these cucumbers will basically get very scaly, very much like the Sikkim cucumber. And they'll get, they get kind of long. They almost look like the Puna Korea cucumber. So they're very similar in that sense, except these are generally a yellow cucumber for a long period of time. If you leave them all the way to the end, they will get that alligator skin effect to it eventually. So I'll show you what one of them look like. And you can see it's a beautiful yellow color on it, very yellow, it's starting to get the dark brown on it, and that, that will eventually get its crackling effect to it. And uh, it's just an absolutely gorgeous looking cucumber. Let me try to bring you in. It's a very gorgeous looking cucumber, isn't that gorgeous looking? Now these can get quite long too, if you leave them on a the vine I guess long enough. I picked them a little bit on the early side. And they were still like half green when I picked them, but they eventually turned yellow like this. But if you leave them on there long enough, they will get longer and they will get that alligator skin effect to it. And uh, maybe I got a couple more on there. Maybe I'll, if at the end of the year, I'll do a video and show you what it looks like when it gets fully uh, ripened. So let's cut one of these open. See what it looks like. Yes, I did pick them green a little bit. And that's what it looks like inside, your typical cucumber. And we will cut a slice. The seeds look like they developed already on it, so I'm not going to eat the seeds. We will skip that part, or maybe I will. Let's, let's give that a try. Even with the seeds fully developed, they're not really that tangy. So they taste pretty nice. Uh, the flesh part of it has a nice um, smooth uh, cucumber flavor, not overly cucumber, almost has a little bit of a nutty flavor to it. It's very smooth. Seeds do got a little bit of tanginess into them, but again, we, we you know, they're starting to develop. They're already almost fully developed seeds, so once you're getting in it, you want to get your cucumbers before that happens, and that way you don't get that tangy flavor in the seeds, but very nice tasting cucumber, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I guess it's from China. My first year growing them. Uh, what I can say is that it's a good cucumber to grow. Definitely worth growing. Uh, it's a very good producer. It does produce quite a bit of cucumbers. Uh, it's a regular leaf cucumber. Nothing special about the vine. No different between that and much any other cucumber. Except that it comes out, uh, comes out green for a little bit. And then it turns uh, yellow pretty qu pretty quickly. Other than that, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, just other than I'll just, again, show you what they look like. Very beautiful looking cucumber. This would make a nice pickling cucumber that you can put in a uh, pickle pickling barrel. Here's, a, here's another one. They're, they're very firm, too. These are nowhere near fully uh, developed, so... If you let them fully develop, I'm sure that you'll get them all the way to that point where they start to get that alligator skin on them. But that's it. That was just a quick review for the Chinese yellow cucumber. I will try to make seeds available for them this year in the fall. And you can check my website for that. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.